Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Peace, family. This is your brother, Mr. Holipsism. I'm here today to talk about Bill Cosby. And what I, I just want to know, what happened? You know, what happened, Mr. Cosby? Um, I, the last time I checked, Bill Cosby speaks perfect English. Um, last time I checked, Bill Cosby, um, his name is Bill. He doesn't have any African name like Taliqua or Muhammad or any of that other stuff. And the last time I checked, Bill Cosby wears his pants around his waist with a belt. So what happened? I mean, why is he the subject of this this attack on his on his brand, on his person, you know, on his um, character? Why is this stuff going on? Of course, you know, I'm being mad sarcastic, but I had to do this video. I know I haven't done a video in a while, but I had to do this video because I have to, you know, excuse me for breaking my hand, patting myself on the back. But didn't I fucking tell you, niggas? Didn't I tell you this? I, You know, the thing that makes me feel proud about this and not so much pride that he's going through whatever he's going through. I mean, that's his business. Whatever he's going through, he's dealing with the repercussions of it. You know, that's his thing. But what makes me feel proud is that I called this dude out at the height of his popularity. All you got to do is go back into the archives. I've spoken on it. When all of you Negroes was amening and co-signing and saying, oh, Bill Cosby speaking the truth. What was I doing? I was digging into his ass and calling him out for what he was, which is a fucking hypocrite. You feel me? I've been doing that ever since, you know, he came out with that rant against lower class or people in the uh, lowest, lower economic rung of a black society. And I said before, and I repeat it. It doesn't take much, much courage to go against someone with no power. It doesn't take courage to point out every bad thing about black folks. You know, it, 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 it kills me. You got people whose channels is dedicated to talking about black folks. Black folks ain't shit. The black man ain't shit. The black woman ain't shit. Black youth ain't shit. Black elders ain't shit. The whole black community ain't shit. And then people is patting them on their back. Making them think like they some fucking, you know, sages of wisdom. You know, how how courageous is it to appeal to self-hating Negroes? If I wanted to have popularity on my channel, I know exactly how to do it. All I have to do is spend 24 hours out of a day talking about how fucked up black people are. And then what I'll do, I'll get some self-hated, defeated Negro who become my subscriber... Because they want to hear how fucked up black people is too. Because they can't stand niggas as well. I mean this is. this is The only thing that really pisses me off about this whole thing. I don't like the cowardice. You know what I'm saying. Like keep in mind. I don't care what's going on with Bill Cosby. I could give two pieces of monkey feces. What happens to him. Because I think he's a coward. But I didn't think he was a coward because of these rape allegations or whatever, these Ruthie things he's been going on. I thought he was a coward because he attacked people in the, in the community that couldn't defend themselves from his attack. This guy has a big microphone. And when Bill Cosby wants to get on the mic and say something, people listen. And you use that opportunity not to take the task to other rich Negroes that you rub elbows with who don't do a goddamn thing and can't fucking bust a damn grape with the supposed power or success that they have. We have some of the most scared Negroes as millionaires and billionaires here in America. 
scared to death. You got these 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 basketball players who make all of this fucking money, all of these millions of dollars, and they they scared to speak out against any social issues. Scared to say something when one of our people gets shot down in the street. You got billionaires scared to take a stand on anything black, anything African scented. Why? Because it might ruin their brand. These niggas don't even know what real wealth is. If you get a chance, look up a brother named Aliko Dangate, who should be about worth 30 million, 30 billion right about now, whose wealth has has quadrupled within the past few years. You know why? Because in his industry, no white man can take his wealth from him. He actually produces something tangible and concrete. He's in a lot of businesses, but his main business is the concrete business in Africa. So if you want to build something in Africa, you talk into Aliko Dangate. He's my personal hero, by the way. I don't really find rich people and wealthy people, you know, heroic. But he's one of the people that I, I look to as an example of African nationalism. What you can do when you use the resources of your own land to create wealth. But that's an aside. I'll get back to the, the main point. What really pisses me off about Bill, this Bill Cosby situation is that now all of a sudden, you know, when you're down, now the cowards come out. All of the people now, oh, yeah, he did something to me back in the day. And then now you got all the, the people who had their little Bill Cosby stories who was scared shitless to say anything about it. Now all of a sudden you coming out, oh yeah, well that nigga, man, I was always worried. He always used to do, I remember one time when he did this to me and that, man, you're a fucking coward. All of y'all is cowards. You want to show me you have some heart? Go up against somebody when they're in their prime. Go up against them when they are the most popular and then come talk to me. Because I was going at Bill Cosby when he was, when everybody was co-signing his bullshit and telling me how I was wrong. Oh, no. No, you can't say that. Well, he is speaking some truth. Black folks is like that. Da, 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 da. Man, get the fuck out of here. And now you all looking like a bunch of fucking fools. And I'm vindicated. So, yeah, I'm making a video. I'm bragging and I'm boasting. You know, I don't do it too often, but it's nice when I get an opportunity to be looked at as a fucking prophet. Because I called this shit years ago and i got into this nigga's ass years ago i called him a coward years ago i'm not just jumping on and piling on and doing the wwe like y'all negroes now that the white the white system has turned against him and i hope that this negro doesn't blame the white man for his demise i hope in his words that he takes some personal responsibility for his own actions i hope you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> what else can I say, man? It's like, um, we're sitting up here and everybody's like, you know, do you, I, I think some people are saying, well, I don't want to jump on, you know, Bill Cosby because the system is against him and they, they, they trying to attack him and they trying to break him down because he's a black man. Get the fuck out of here with that stupid ass bullshit. When this nigga threw the black community under the bus and allowed white folks on all of these these fucking conservative talk shows to jump on our community using him as a gatekeeper to do it. How come nobody was crying about that? What Was anybody protecting us? Did he jump in and say, yo, this is an internal thing. Your white folks mind your business. This is me talking to my people. Did he do that shit? So fuck him. I don't give a fuck about Bill Cosby. Let the whole system that he was protective against, the whole white supremacist system that he claims didn't fucking exist, because apparently black folks were just raised in bed -Stuy. You know, we just came out of the womb. bed -Stuy was where we were supposed to be, and that's our fault because we in bed -Stuy. It's our fault because we in Compton. It's our fault because we in, in, in fucking Detroit. It's our fault because we in Brownsville, and we in all of these lower economic class neighborhoods, ghettos. It's our fault. There's no socioeconomic and political um, 
context to that. There's no historical context to it. Black folks just come out of their mother's womb fucked up. No socialized into anything. No, none of that fancy, fancy, smancy stuff that Mr. Holicism talks about. No, we just fucked up out the womb. So y'all can keep that nigga, man. I don't give a fuck what happens to Bill Cosby. And I'm trying to look for this thing. Y'all, excuse me for a second, because I'm trying to look for a quote from Bill Cosby himself. I am looking for a quote from Bill Cosby himself. Bear with me one second. This should, this should not. Because I want to use his own words against him. Okay. Here we go. These are the words of Bill Cosby. We have to start holding each other to a higher standard. We cannot blame white people any longer. Well, you know what? That's what I've been doing. And that's what I will continue to do. And in my high standards, it's not down with rapists. My high standards is not down with motherfuckers Ruthian, Ruthian um, women up. And drugging women so you can get some ass. My high standards is not with cowards who can't speak to the people that they rub elbows with, but they got they, they turn into fucking Brock Lesnar when it comes to going against somebody who has no power. So that's my take on Mr. Bill Cosby. Um, hey, he's getting what he deserves. And I'll holler at you good people later. P oh, and another thing before I say that, don't give me that he's our brother. He wasn't our fucking brother when he threw us under the goddamn bus. So don't come to me with that brother, sister, or he's a black man. I don't give a fuck. He's going through what he's going through, and he deserves what he's getting. Peace.